Hello, students! Welcome to another year at Desta Hope High School. My name is Mr. Bruno, and I'll be your chemistry teacher this year. For those of you absent, here's what happened in class over the past week. For those of you who would like to know, the announcements over the past week were the following. Firstly, the women's basketball team has been cancelled due to only two students showing up for tryouts. One of which was male. Students are to be reminded that PDA is considered sexual assault. We have yet to decide who's assaulting who, but somebody's doing something. You can't hide from us forever. Students are to bring home the PTA flyer. If you were absent, tell your parents not to show up with alcohol to the PTA meetings. We don't want a repeat of last year. Alcohol will be provided. Also, golf tryouts are next Tuesday. Going back to the rules, I received an email from your principal about what is and is not allowed. I'll reread it. <clears throat> Let's see. For those of you unaware, all cell phones except the iPhone 5S are allowed in class to reach the authorities should you take the chance to call. Huh. No calculators of any kind. They are dangerous and unpredictable. Okay. Pocket knives, on the other hand, are allowed as they normally are. Oh, okay. Cool. I'm sure this is a joke, but if you need to use a calculator, I guess be sure to let me know. Please take note that I only give weekend homework. Now, this may seem odd, but it's the easiest system for me. I apologize to who this might upset. I encourage you to mm, get over it. Tuesday's class, we began learning about some basic lab safety. Remember, lab coats and safety goggles should be worn at all times. Long hair must be tied back. Chemical spills should be reported to the teacher. Sleeves must be rolled up. We finished after discussing some hypothetical questions. For example, if your science teacher went back in time and accidentally trigger JFK's death, how would you feel? On Wednesday, we reinforced some of the lab safety rules, as well as prepared for a trip to the lab on Thursday. We also took a small quiz on lab safety and general safety in a test environment. Most of you failed. Great start, kids. Thursday was our class trip to the lab. If you missed it, we had a small, uh, simulated incident. Since we'd been studying so hard after Wednesday's quiz, everyone made it out alive. On a side note, should any police question you, you know absolutely nothing. Finally, on Friday, we did a small wrap-up on the topic of laboratory safety. We played a uh, Jeopardy game of sorts. Most everyone did pretty well, considering what happened on Wednesday's quiz. You guys are fast learners. I hope we can keep this up throughout the year. Notice I did say most everyone. For those of you who did not do well, I strongly encourage you to learn this material. For those of you that did do well, I gave you a small piece of candy and told you to wait to eat it. For extra credit on Wednesday's quiz, feel free to tell me which of those candies was laced with... No, you'll, you'll figure it out. For homework, please answer this simple question. If there were two woodchucks, would the first woodchuck adore wood as it would if the second woodchuck chucked more wood? Please support your answer with reasonings and which woodchuck chucked more wood. Minimum of one paragraph. Drawings of both chucks are extra credit. I think that about wraps it up for this week's audio log, so please complete your homework for Monday, which I will collect. I'll see you next week. No, oh, please stay safe, and remember, we're going to have a pretty bad storm over the weekend, so I suggest you carry umbrellas. Although several of you were saying you'd be carrying pocket knives. You all have an odd sense of humor. <laughs>